The Unloved, Part 2. Hello? Are you waiting for me? I'm here now. <laughs> Anya. Anya! Anya! Get up! Why didn't the alarm clock go off? I switched it off for you. Oh, wow. It's half past 10 already. Oh, I'm glad that I don't have a duty today, or I'd be in trouble. Vanya, take out the milk from the fridge. I'm coming soon. Oh, 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 listen, um, you better help him there in the kitchen. He'll smash everything there. What? Can you look away? Ah. Hmm. Anya. Vanya, how many times do I have to tell you to close the fridge door? Everything will get spoiled. I don't want porridge. I want sausages. Eat the porridge. It's good for you. Here, eat. No sausages. Vanya, eat your porridge. Misha, can you watch him? I'll be back in a minute. Mm hmm You were told not to touch the sweets. You'll spoil your teeth. But I want it now! I said no already. Then I won't eat breakfast. All right, let's do it this way. There's not much to discuss. The breakfast is over, so go to your room. No! I want it with jam. Anya allows me to do it. Oh, please, God. Anya, can you please calm your brother? Why are you stuck there? You have to eat all of your breakfast. Mm. Misha, I need you to eat your breakfast. Anya, Anya, please come out. Anya, come and take care of your brother. Uh, Stop whining. I don't want to listen to you. Here we are. To the branch again? Yeah. Look, you go there almost every day. 
but I have to control it during the first stages. <sighs> Why are you mad, actually? I'm not mad. It's just you were never so interested in your son before. He didn't live in another town before. All right. Will you be back before dinner? We'll see. I'll call you. Alina, please, let's meet at your place and it will be fine. What's the problem? What if I want to come to my beloved man's place, huh? Also, my beloved man is in a mock marriage. I think you just want to check whether we sleep together, am I right? <laughs> Misha, why do you have to be so problematic? It'd just be entertaining for me to see how you live. But if you're against it and you're resisting, then... No, I... Uh... All right, come over to me. Come here. I'm waiting for you. That sounds great. Please don't forget the salad in the fridge. Your dad likes it. Hold on, aren't you gonna eat anything with us? Uh, I'm not sure. The last bus is in 10 minutes, then there's a break. Ah, sorry. All oh. right, meet your father. Hello, hey, how are <laughs> you? Grandpa Sergey! Hello, the newlyweds, oh. Grandpa, did you get me a present? No, actually I had no time, but I sure will. Sergey, what are the gifts for? His room is full of toys. A child must have a happy childhood. I've been waiting for a grandchild for ages. All right, get ready. We'll go to the shop and choose. <laughs> I'll come quickly. All right, I'm off. <sighs> you see, Dad? She goes to visit her father all the time instead of her husband. You should be proud of such a responsible wife. Well, yeah. All right, bye. Mwah. Take care. Vanya, I'm leaving. Bye. All Goodbye. right, all right, goodbye. Yeah. Face the wall. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, Father. You look very pale. Are you ill? No, I just slept badly. Mm -hmm. I brought you a parcel, medicine, and cigarettes. Anya, don't bother all that much. I don't really need very much here. You better tell me, how is it going with that Misha? I'm sorry. It's not like people normally do. Dad, Misha's a good man. He's kind to Vanya, and Sergei as well. I don't want to hear about him at all. Dad, why? We talked about that. He explained everything. I remember. Dad, don't you worry at all. Everything's fine, really. <sighs> I really hope so. Pick what you like. This one is for girls. This is for girls? We're not taking it. What's for boys? Here it is. I think this is for boys. Oh. Look what, look what it is. What is it? 
This is a grasper. When you perform an operation, this thing, the grasper, is used to prevent loss of blood. Are you afraid of blood? <laughs> no. You know, most of all, I'm afraid to do something wrong. Do you want to become a doctor? I do. You see, in order to become a doctor, you need to learn to feel confident. You understand? All right, boy. Let's go pay. Please, How much is this? Please, please. 500 rubles. Hold on. All right. 500 rubles. Here you go. Take it. All right? Ah, let's blow the expense. Right, Vanya? Take whatever you like. Good afternoon, Mr. Lefovich. Good afternoon. Who is this young man, huh? <sighs> She's my grandson. Oh, congratulations. Say hello to Nina. We sure will. We'll pick something for our kids. <sighs> All right, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well. Are you afraid of them? No, I just wasn't expecting to meet them. All right, what do we have next? Park! Let's go! Come in, come in, don't be shy. <sighs> Stop it. What? Do you sleep together? Is that it? <gasps> Alina, I'm sorry. It's necessary for the boy. We have to... We have to lie to him and make it all look trustworthy. What did you expect? If he tells Dad, and Dad tells Nina, our plan will be ruined. Nobody is ever gonna believe it. Ah! What's that? I don't know, there's something here. What? There's something here, I don't know. I told him. I told him a thousand times not to bring it into the room. How many times do I have to tell him? Don't get so mad. Oh, he always does Don't this. get so mad, don't get so mad. Well, I'm not mad at mm. anymore, mm -hmm. anymore. Hold on a minute. Where's the bathroom? Uh, over there. All right. Mm. Uh, the clean towel is on the left. What's wrong? So you don't sleep together then, right? What is this, Alina? What is this? Your wife is pregnant, Misha. And don't try to tell me how sexless your life is. Hold on, wait, pregnant? What do you mean? I don't know anything about it. No, where are you going? I have a headache. Alina! Alina! Are you sick? Oh, she drank Open too the much. window! She it's needs open. air of the dog to bit her. There's no air at Give all. Give her some water. Right. She's awake. She's so young, and she's already uh, stuffy today. Oh. Stop right here, please. Guys, every sailor must know and be able to tie sea knots, okay? You've got your, uh, your knots to thicken hemp's. Then you've got slip knots. There are also... She needs some fresh air. Let her out. All right, guys. So the one I'm going to show you now is called a bowline knot. Do you know why? Any ideas? Any suggestions? All right, guys, I'll explain. Pay attention, okay? Look, the name of this knot in nautical language originates from the board that is used to ascend a pylon. 
You need to be able to tie it with a single movement of your one hand in darkness in two or three seconds, like this, okay? Now go ahead, you try it out now. I already know three knots. What's the point in learning more? All right, I'll explain it point by point. Imagine you're in the cold water, right? They threw you a rope, but it's sliding, and, and you can't climb back up. But with this knot, they'll definitely pull you back on board. There's a point now, right? All right, pull harder. You see how strong it is? They'll definitely drag you back up. Well, There's a point, hello, right? Hello, honey. Hello, hello. We're finishing soon, okay? <laughs> hey, duty calls, gentlemen. All right, boys, let's not laugh. I think the boys are already right. tired. Let's go home. We'll let them go. You're home. I thought you and Vanya went for a walk. Vanya went for a walk with my dad. Now tell me, what is this? What is this? Is this for real? That is, you go behind my back, do whatever you want, sleep with whoever you want. Do you hear what I'm saying? Am I right? This is my business. Oh no, honey. This is my business now. I have to acknowledge this child as my own. Moreover, I have to pay for the alimony for the rest of my life. This is not what we agreed. I'm not demanding anything. But I am. You'll go and get an abortion done tomorrow. Do you understand? Wait. If you don't like it, then I'm ready for divorce. A divorce? All right, let's, let's get divorced. Why not? But think about what it might mean for your brother. Look at what Grandpa Sergey bought for me! Hold on. Well... Let's go. All right, come here. Come here. What happened? What is it? Did she run into Alina? What's Alina have to do with it? It's worse than that. She's pregnant. You know what else? I don't even have any idea whose baby it is. Oh, I'll be a happy father <laughs> once again. So what's the problem? Are you kidding me? You've got one feeding on me and now you want me to answer for another one? <laughs> First of all, you'll easily prove that this is not your child. Grounds for divorce. It's infidelity. Uh... You always have it worked out perfectly, but not for me somehow. <laughs> All right, listen. Either you solve this problem today, or I'm gonna go and divorce her tomorrow. That's the truth, and this is serious. Come here. Where are you going? No one said you could go. Stand here, stand here, I said. Hello, hello. Gennady Alexievich, this is Yarovoy. Now I won't be rich. <laughs> no, listen, I've got a small issue to discuss with you. Can I come today? When then? Tomorrow's good? All right then. At what time? All right. Deal, deal. All right, I'll see you then. I'll see you then. All right? I'll solve the problems tomorrow, and she'll forgive you. You will have to make her forgive you today. Today, is that clear? No, father. Bastard. I wonder who's feeding on who. I wish your yacht were a bit larger, to take sun baths on it. Actually, this is a sports yacht, not a leisure boat. And there's no time to take sun baths. Well, all right then, so let you have two yachts then. One for trainings and the other one for me. <laughs> Susha, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I'm not an oligarch. Listen, why are you so annoyed? Come on, tell me. Actually, we've been dating for over a month now. Perhaps we should organize it all somehow, register it. 
<laughs> Susha, are you proposing to me right now? This is not the capital. You can't just do this to girls. You can't have fun with them and then leave. <sighs> all right, all right. Who would leave such a charming sailor, right? <laughs> Let's go somewhere. To the club, for example, huh? How's that sound? Is it very good? Yes, it is. Anya, thank you for lunch. Goodbye. Vanya, walk me to the gate. Goodbye. Anya, um, uh, I'm sorry. I lost it and I was wrong. Please forgive me. At least we both know that this marriage is unbearable. I didn't say that. But it's evident. No career is worth such torture, you know. Career? That doesn't matter. When I was saying this, I was thinking about you and Vanya, not about the career. Can you imagine what the child services will say if we get divorced less than a month after the wedding? <laughs> all right, Anya. All right, all right. Let's, uh, let's do the following. I'll find you a place in the region, a good place. You'll move there. It won't be a problem. But this pregnancy... I'm sorry, but this isn't my business, and you'll have to deal with it on your own. <sighs> Anya, it's hard to live with two kids. Just think about it. Anya? <gasps> Anya, please. <sighs> please hold on just a little bit more. And forgive me, Anya. Anya. Jenna, yeah. Our cardiology center is the best in the region. Huh? Here you go. And if we give it a little promotion, just a little, people from all over CIS will be coming to us. All the people are here already. No, you... You always help me and Nina. You know, I recently read a study from America. It clearly says that it's better when a clinic has a specific name behind it. Hmm. Like Daikul or Fedorov, for example. It looks more trustworthy. Hmm? Uh, hold on. <sighs> Sergey, are you sure that you want to put your name on it? No. I'm quite a good specialist. Did you know it? Keep hinting. I remember how you saved my life. <sighs> All right, Sergey. Are you mature enough to get out from under Nina's skirt. Ooh. Well, don't take offense. It's just a family joke. I understand perfectly that connections define everything in developing any business. <sighs> anyway, Sergey, let's do the following. Prepare an extensive application for me, your version of the name, and how you imagine all this. All right? <sighs> it's a deal, then. <sighs> Susha, bring us coffee, please. All right. Let's say we're done with business. Tell me now, Sergey. <laughs> How's it going? How is my nephew? Is he enjoying his honeymoon? 
He likes being the chief doctor. <laughs> well, career is career and family is family, you know? Why get married if you spend all your time at work? Moreover, Nina was somewhat gloomy when she talked about her daughter-in-law. Tell me, is she a fine girl or is she as loose as her father? Here's your coffee. Ah, uh, thank you. No. Anya's just a treasure. She's young, she's beautiful. You know, I think it's all good between her and Misha. More of her soon. There'll be an addition to the family. Really? <laughs> well, Misha's not wasting time. <laughs> Sir, you, you can invite me to be a godfather if you want. You bet. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> Anya, you've got a visitor right here. Olga, hello. How are you? Anya, I need a minute. Am I interrupting? Sit down. I've been feeling unwell lately. Arrhythmia is torturing me. And I don't sleep at night at all. I just lay there, tossing and turning. Well, you could do everything in your center, both samples and ECG. I do not want Nina to know about this. And moreover, who needs a bunch of ill workers? Anya, I'm really sorry but I have nowhere else to go. Olga, don't worry. Let's start with ECG, hmm? Misha, just don't pull my leg, please. I'm not pulling your leg, I swear. I swear that this is not my child. This is not my child. I don't know where she got him. She looks so quiet, well-bred, and nice. Still waters run deep indeed. All right, let's say you're not lying then. But you're still going to become a father once again. I'm not going to become a father. I don't know who I'll become, but I know for sure that I'm applying for a divorce. Oh, yeah? Are you sure? Yes. Has your father approved? I don't know that either. I made a decision, and therefore I'm informing you. So you mean I can consider it a proposal? Is that it? Potentially. You know what? I want to stay with you tonight. The whole night. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear me? Okay? Oh. Ah. It's Dad. Mm-hmm. Mm, I need to pick it up. Sure, yeah. I'm sorry, but I... Yes, Dad. Have you made peace with Anya? Yes, I have. But have you solved our problems? We need to wait for another week until Gennady Alexievich signs all of the papers. And then... What week? Dad, I just... All right, Dad. I am not going to do anything. I don't want to. And that is it. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, Dad? As soon as the clinic is renamed, Nina won't be able to kick us out. Do you understand? I'll start dealing with Vanya's adoption officially, and you'll apply for divorce. You listen to me. You are not listening to me. Misha, you're the one who's not listening. Yes. I said we need to wait. That's it. Telling me what to do. Well, so, is the invitation to lunch still valid? It is. <laughs> Everything is valid. Well, how is it? Actually, it should be monitored for 24 hours, but I can see it even now. Arrhythmia is severe, and look at these intervals. Olga, you need... You need inpatient treatment. What inpatient treatment? It costs a whole lot of money. 
Moreover, what will I tell Nina, huh? She won't let me have another vacation. And I can just take the pills at home. You know that it's necessary to monitor a patient before prescribing meds. All right then, Anya, thank you. I will deal with it. Olga, listen, it's very dangerous. They celebrated a joyous wedding the next day, and the prince took the princess to his kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. They lived happily ever after. Let's go to sleep, Vanya. Yeah? But I don't want to sleep! Vanya, everybody sleeps at night. Come on. Where is Misha? He's not here yet. So he is allowed not to sleep and I'm not? That's right. The discussion is over. your friend? No, but he could become one. Look, do you want me to leave and stop embarrassing you? You'll be a free girl, you know. I don't actually feel obliged now. Sush, are you starting again? Okay, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it then. Get me another mojito, will you? Haven't you had enough? Well, I want more. All right. Telephone. She left you for a rich heir. And do you know what I really think? You're an idiot. Sosha, give me the phone. Take it. You can choke on it. Hello, I'm Igor. What's your name? Susha. Here's to the company, Susha. Anya, tell me what happened. Nikita, I'm so sorry to bother you. Your grandmother came to me. She's seriously ill. Anya, are you there now? At home? Yeah. Look, I'll come to you now, all right? And tell me everything in detail, okay? Yeah, okay. Who's your little friend there, huh? Ah, that's just someone that I know. Meet Igor. He's my new friend. Look, I need to leave, okay? Anya called, and now you need to run? Yeah, I'll come back soon. Look, let me take you home. Listen, why are you going to her? You idiot. You know she's pregnant. What's wrong with him? Hmm. <laughs>
Alina. I'll go. I have duty in the morning. Why is everything so complicated? I mean, we could just live together, right? Uh, we could. That's how it will be. Uh, we'll just have to wait for a while. We'll wait, all right? Hmm? Oh. Well, all right. I'm off. Whew. Is it really so serious, though? Nikita, there's no joking with the heart. Her stops are almost a minute long. What if it doesn't start at all? She was the one that raised me, you know? Mom was always at work, and, and it was Grandma Olga. I don't know if something happens. I, I understand. When my mother died, I couldn't accept it for a year. And I still can't do it. Nikita, we can help her. We. Nikita, hold on. You really mean a lot to me. Anya. You mean a lot to me, too. I understand that you love Misha, and, uh... I told you that Misha and I have an agreement already. Anya, you're pregnant. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that, okay? I'm sorry. Nikita, this is your baby. I just knew that you wouldn't believe me. That's just great. Hosting, hosting lovers at home, aren't you? Misha, this is not what you think. I don't think. I just know that you're pregnant. Now I know who the father is. Or is there someone else? All right, shut your mouth now, man. Don't. I'm not talking to what? you. Stop, that's enough. Enough, enough. Anya, are you choosing compromise again? Nikita, it'd be best if you left now. Hello? <laughs> I'm calling from the toilet. That psycho what do you really want? killed me. I understand it's all my fault. Forgive me, please, but come and rescue me, please. All right, hold on. I'm coming, okay? I'll be back. And I'll take you away from here. Out of my way, man. Godspeed to you. Move on, hero. Why did you tell me that you went to control Misha's work and went hanging around with that boy instead? 
Uh, Nina, what's the problem? The problem is that you lie to me all the time, and I don't know what to expect from you. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Is it a crime to go out for a walk with a grandson? He's not your grandson. He is your lover's son. All right. Hold on. You've decided to pick on me at home? All right. Do you want me to leave? You won't go anywhere. You're wrong. That's it. Where will you go? To Misha's? He'll be happy. All right, enough. Nina, I'm not a toy. Do you understand? You can't just switch me on and off, all right? Hold on, please, please wait. Forgive me. Yes, yes, I'm jealous, but I can't do anything about it. Forgive me? Sergey, Sergey. Look, listen, we had an agreement. You promised me. Or does your brain switch off when it scratches between your legs? You can't think at Be all, quiet. right? Quiet, Vanya's gonna wake up. I don't care who is gonna wake up. When you brought your lover here, you didn't think about Vanya. You didn't think about anything except your own lust. You thought that someone could see the two of you together and then everything would go down in flames. It's not what you think. That's exactly what I think. And don't pull the wool over my eyes. I'm a big boy. And I understand everything perfectly. Still water runs deep indeed. Don't touch Anya! You're a bad man! Vanya, go to bed. Hey, go to bed, as your sister says, or I'll make you toe the line. Get lost. Listen to me. If you ever... Mm. Listen to me, Vanya, go said. to bed. Don't you dare! <laughs> All right, I, listen to you. Go to bed. If you don't calm down immediately... Go away. Stop. Stop, I said. Open the door. Come and stand here. Open the door, I said. Open the door. I'm asking nicely. I am asking nicely. Vanya, don't worry. Nikita will come and take us. Nikita! I just want Nikita to come. Open the door, I said, or I will break it. <laughs> Rescuers are coming. Wow. What does that mean? It means that he loves me, and I love <laughs> He hit me! He, he hit me! Why won't anyone stand up for me? Are there no real men here at all? Apologize before Look, the Look, dude, shut up and relax, all right? We'll deal with it. Get up. Let go! Don't Get up, touch go. me, moron! She's not going anywhere with you. She wants to stay with me. Hands off, <gasps> buddy! Hello. Police? Hey, guys! Hey. He's on the... Okay, no, 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 no. it's not like hitting girls, I mean, is it? Police right now. I know, it's like they haven't called anyone. What is this? Oh my gosh, they're finally here. Stand down, everyone. Stand yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Stand down. He's gone. Come here. But what if he hides somewhere and wants to torture us? All right, I'll go first. If something happens, shut the door and lock it on the inside. Do you understand? I'm scared. Don't worry, I'll deal with it, all right? That's it. Okay. Where is Nikita? Vanya, we'll call Nikita and he'll come pick us up, okay? Hey, Cab, give me the phone. It's important, man. Please, give me the phone. Shut up already. You'll end up minding your business tomorrow when the detective comes. Just give me the phone, it's important. You hear me, man? <sighs> da 
Does it really hurt? Mm mm. The most important thing is to apply ice quickly. All right, sleep already. But why didn't Nikita come here? I don't know. Come on, sleep. Vanya, listen to me. We can't go to see Dad today. I need to go to work. Because if I don't work, they'll try to take you again. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. And don't tell anyone about Uncle Misha, especially the kindergartners. Yeah, but why not? Because we're still on probation. We have to prove everybody that we're a good family. But isn't Uncle Misha on probation too? Why is he fighting with us? And he even broke my best sword. I promise that Uncle Misha won't hurt us anymore. Will Nikita help us? We'll deal with it alone. Hey, wake up, wake up. You're free to go. Yes, Alina. It's fine. Although it's terrible, to be honest. I nearly killed her yesterday. Misha, do you understand that this isn't normal? You're destroying our life. Our life. Yes, I do, Alina. I understand. All right, Alina, listen, I can't talk right now. I'll call you later, okay? Misha, wait, please don't do something stupid again. Anya. Anya. Hold on, please. What did you want? I wanted to talk to you. Well, are you going to fire me now? No, it's not about that. I, am. Um... Can I go back to work? I have things to do. Sure, uh, uh... Young man, who are you looking for? Good afternoon. Uh, I'm looking for Anya. If there's no one there, she must be at work. I see, uh... Yes, I recognized you. How much does a bed cost per day if I decide to get inpatient treatment? Olga, I'll get you a free place. Oh, come on, don't do it. Come here, we'll hospitalize you straight away. Well, all right. I'll be waiting for you. Hello. Hello? I'm sorry I couldn't come yesterday. I ended up going to the police station. It was really silly. <sighs> Thank God, I thought something happened to you. No, it's all right. How are you? What is this? What is this? Did Misha do that? No. Anya, did Misha do that? Why are you lying to me? I can hear that you're talking about me, yes, all right? Yes, about you, Misha, idiot. Stop. Yeah, we're talking about you. <clears throat> Go stop, away. Stop, stop. <clears throat> Enough, I said. Get, Get lost. this garbage stop out it. of here, all right? <clears throat> Don't do it. Enough. Now let's Misha. get to work. The show is over. The show is over. 
Examine the patients. Come here, you. Do you... Do you want me to send him to prison like I did with your dad? Do you want that? There was an attack, and there were witnesses. Misha, I beg you, you won't do it. I'll do it in one case only. Forget about the divorce. Easy, I said. Get out of here, man, before I call the Look, police. Look, just calm down, all right? Don't call Come the police. On, get I need out. to get into the hospital. Don't get you understand what I'm trying here. to tell you? Of course. Go ahead. That's it. Yeah, what's going on there? Yeah, I feel like I'm in his name. I feel like we are uh, just going to have to wait. I'm not sure. Find out soon. Of course. The professor came for the diploma. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I've got outstanding anatomy in addition. Do you see that? Look, what that I, what I, think I only have to pass the histology credit, and no, the session I'll stay is here. over. Hey. I don't have money. Uh, guys. Hello? Look, uh, I need your help, guys, okay? There's a girl working in there on the ground floor. I wanted to pull a trick and visit her, but the security caught me. You think I could borrow one of your robes? Hello. Hello. Nina, sit down. All right. Tell me what happened. Sergei didn't spend the night at home. Jenna, I don't know what to do. Nina. Excuse me. You know how much I love you. But I... I think this is your fault. What is? I do everything for him. You do it not for him, but instead of him. You understand? Sergei is a fine man. He's got golden hands. Doesn't he deserve it? Just think how hard you would press him if he came to me, not to you, to discuss this question. Hold on a sec. What question? Well, I decided to give him a chance to express himself, to call the clinic in his honor. Sergei Yarovoy's Cardiology Center. Sounds good, doesn't it? It is. He didn't tell me, and neither did you. Anyway, here's my point of view, Nina. Sergey needs space, first of all, in terms of business. If you want to stay with him, be gentler and more delicate. And decide what you're going to do with him. Are you going to congratulate him or just skin him alive? That's all I got to say. That's it. <sighs> Nina. Give your marriage a chance. All right, goodbye. <laughs> ah, take it later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sergey, it's me. Tell me what you did to upset Nina that much. What do you mean? She called me in the morning and asked to see me. She said you didn't sleep at home last night. Sergey, tell me honestly, do you have someone on the side? My dear Kennedy, with all due respect, we'll deal with it on our own. Yeah, that's right. But how are you going to share the clinic if something happens, huh? I don't need anything from her. Nothing at all. Nothing. So what? You're gonna send her to a clinic? No, Sergey, that won't do. You're a great specialist, and this is why I'm on your side. But you have to sort out your relationship with Nina. Divorce her if you want, but don't pull the wool over her eyes, all right? Is that all? Thank you. Sorry, I've got a lot of work to do. Bye. Hello again. So is everything all right? Did that psycho touch you? Mm -hmm. Olga is coming here. I've arranged it. They'll put her in this ward and take all of her samples. That's clear. When are we moving things, huh? Everything will stay as it is. I cannot lose Vanya.
She's busy, don't you understand? Yeah, that's not a ma problem. Ma'am, please, She'll find the time, okay? Miss Alexievna, I was trying not to let her in. I need to talk to you. This is very important. It's about Misha and your... and your husband. I remember you. You're a journalist, Misha's ex-girlfriend, right? Well, <laughs> Misha has made his choice. I don't know they how I... They are both lying to you right now. Misha and Sergei. Katya, close the door, please. And please, don't let anyone in. All right. I'm listening. Misha married Anya because of Vanya, because of her brother. Do you know that this little boy is your husband's son? Did you know that? Tell me. <laughs> well, such information requires proof, you know. Do you have any proof? I have a test that was performed in your laboratory, by the way. Well, <laughs> and why would Misha need it? Because he wanted to be the chief doctor, but he made a mistake and now he needs help. Ah, I see. All right, thanks a lot for the information. Wow, okay, I guess you don't understand. This is all for your own good, okay? Listen to me, girl. If you're going to use me to return Misha, you've come to the wrong place. I don't gather rumors. The door is over there. I really thought you were smarter than this. <laughs> Dad bought me a watch with pointers. Wow. wow. So what? Dad will buy the same for me. I'll tell my dad, and he'll buy me a much better one. Mm. You're lying. You You're don't lying. have a dad. That's right. My grandma says your dad's in prison. Uh. <laughs> what is the problem? Vanya, what's going on? All right, sit down on the bench, please. Well, and you? Oh, dear, you're all dirty. Play calmly. What? Oh, my goodness. Go play nicely. Vanya, what happened? I want to go to my dad's house. Take me to my dad's. Well, we'll call your sister later. She'll come and deal with it. As for now, you're punished. Sit on the bench alone for a while. You wanted to see me, Nina? Here I am. I'm listening. Why didn't you tell me the truth about Vanya? What truth? Sergei, have courage, at least now. What would you do if you knew the truth? Kick me out of the clinic? You know what? You can have your long and happy life with a clinic. That's it. Because I'm leaving. Just don't try to scare me. I make my living with my own two hands. Where will you go without your endless power? Who will you boss around? You still don't understand. You're the only thing that matters to me. Everything I did, I did for you. I demanded to fund. I persuaded my brother. I planned the expansion. And I opened that branch. I did it for you. I just thought that I was important for you, too. I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'll give this one to your attending physician. You can take your old one. Excuse me. 
Hello? Hello, Anya? That's me. Come here as soon as possible. Vanya's missing. All right. What happened? I have to go. Vanya's missing. I'll go with you, then. No, stay with your grandma and help her accommodate. He's most likely hiding somewhere. Anya, don't be ridiculous. I'm not leaving you. Stay. Good afternoon. I'm your attending physician. We're going to the unit now. Here, take it. Bye. Okay. Are you a relative? Uh, yes, I'm her grandson. We have to discuss a further treatment plan. Will you follow me? All right, Grandma. Look, I don't know what to do. Turns out I don't know her at all. Okay, look, Dad, spare me these rubbish lyrics. Just tell me, are we fired or what? I need to get Nina back. Actually, how did she know? She didn't get it through me. Though well, the leak has to be on your side. Who else knows? <sighs> no one knows at all. Not a single stranger knows anything. Not a single stranger? What about the lab assistant? I paid her fairly well. Believe me, Dad, she's going to keep silent. And what about your journalist? Did you tell her anything? Misha, you just can't keep your mouth shut! All right, that's it. Alina. Here's the button. The doctor will come in a moment. Thank you. Press it if you need something. <sighs> oh, my, the ward is so good. It's separate, and you were worried. Nikita, please forgive me for saying that about Anya. She's a fine girl. It's just a pity that she married so early. Mm-hmm. But the marriage is really weird. Sergei's the only one who treats her well, not even... Not even Vanya treats her well. Vanya? He nurses him. Buys him presents all the time. Well, but Mikhail Sergeyevich cares about him, too. He came and took some samples, didn't he? What samples? Mm, for allergy, I think. Listen, Grandma. You remember which of the lab assistants did the test? I don't know where he went. I only looked away for a second. I always watch kids carefully. He didn't walk past me either. I asked other kindergartners, they didn't see him. Where is he then? We've searched everything here. We need to call the police. Hold on with the police. Let's try to find him on our own. They'll punish you for negligence. And I'll be deprived of the guardian's rights. the other way. Excuse me. Um, I need to see the lab assistant, Lena. I'm telling you that lab assistants don't see patients. Your attending physician will have the results. Uh, hold on, ma'am. You see, I just, I wanted to thank her. I, I was waiting for my results, you know? For my samples, and I was, uh, I was worked up, and then she called me and calmed me down. And I just, I wanted to thank her, you understand? <laughs> All right, I'll call her, and she'll come down here. Uh... Is Lena there? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, she's on the second floor. All right, thank you, thank you. You're lucky she hasn't <laughs> Thanks left. Thanks a lot, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's interesting. Excuse me? Look, you're Lena, right? That's me. Great. Listen, Lena, I'm gonna ask you some, uh, I'm gonna ask you some questions here, and it, uh, it would be better for you to answer them as truthfully as possible. Who are you? You're not allowed hold in on, here. Hold on, hold on. I'm interested in the test that you performed for Mikhail Sergeyevich. Who do you think you are? I'm calling security. Hold on, wait, wait. You need to understand my life. 
my girlfriend's life, and her brother's life all depend on this. Okay, please help me. So it's her brother? What was the test? Uh, Hold on, for God's sake, just sit down, please, sit down. Now just listen to me. I need your help, please. It was a paternity test. I compared the DNA materials of the boy... And what? And Sergei Yaravoy. So Sergei is Vanya's father. That's what you're saying to me right now. Yeah, my brother. Have you seen him? He went there to the bus stop. There, yes. Over there? Yes. Thank you. Are you waiting for number 15? To go see Dad? But what about me? I want to see Dad, too. But you work all the time! We'll visit him on the weekend, I promise. Am I punished? Like, forever? Do you know how you scared me? Do you know how you scared everyone? What if something would have happened to you, huh? I won't do it ever again, I promise you. Please, just don't tell Dad, all right? Please? You promise? Mm-hmm. You little... All right, deal then. Let me zip you up, you're all dirty. Let me clean you up. Here you go. Sergey, wait. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Wait a second. Yes? Listen, I know that you're Vanya's father, sir. <laughs> Boy, you're late. That news is no longer a sensation. I'll make an official announcement in a few days. Let your editorial office do something else. Yeah, I'm not a journalist. I'm Anya's future husband. And you gotta let her go, all right? Ah, so you didn't come for me. I don't need Anya anymore. I'll adopt Vanya. You can go wherever you want. They're living people, sir. Why are you sharing them? As if they're just purebred puppies. Anya won't abandon her brother. They're family. You're so noisy. What's your name? Nikita. Nikita. Why don't you persuade Anya? Tell her it would be better for Vanya to stay with me. Why would you need someone else's baby? Moreover, I know that you're having your own. <laughs> I am warning you, sir. We won't give you Vanya. You'll regret that. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Anya. Hi. Tell me, how's Vanya? I found him. I'm taking him to the kindergarten. Look, you need to pack up things and get out of there as soon as possible. Go home. I'll be there soon. Did something happen? I'll explain later, okay? Bye. All right. Let's go. Where to? Home. Hooray! Not to the kindergarten! Don't be scared. Please wake up. The doctor is here. Wake up.
Her pulse is weak. Get her to intensive care. Hello, traveler. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, you want to drive? Yes, I do. All right, sit down. Come on. Come on, Bonnie, sit down. Drive for a little while. Hold on. Listen, we need to leave right now. They want to take Vanya away. Take Vanya? How come? Sergei decided to sue you for guardianship. You understand? We'll move to Moscow. I have friends there. We can hire a good lawyer. Nikita, how can we leave? What about Grandma? School? No, that's all right. My grandma will understand, okay? We'll just move her to another clinic. The most important thing is for you to leave. You understand? Now, don't you worry. You can trust me. Wait. It's Misha. Don't pick that up. We need to get our things together right now. All right, come on, man. Let's go, boy. Do you want to play a game or what? All right, you ready? How about this? Yes! Let's play Who's the Fastest Packer, okay? All right, let's go. Why'd you go to Nina? I did you a favor, okay, when you're relieved from this burden, finally. Damn it! What burden? You're an idiot! Do you know that? You're such an idiot! Yes, Dad? Hello. Where are you? I'm with Alina. She was the one who went there. Hold on, it doesn't matter. Get Vanya back. They'll try to steal him. Find him, now! Hurry up! All right. Off to follow another one of your Dad's orders? Shut your mouth. Just shut it. Moscow soon. Nikita, it's Misha. Has he gone completely crazy? Why is he following us? All right, hold tight, okay? Stop, stop, stop. Nina. Nina. I'm a fool. Is that all? You need to understand. He's my son. I frankly had no idea that he existed. But as soon as I saw him, I understood he's my chance. My chance to raise a good man, an extraordinary man. Is this why you started with lies? But I just realized now that I won't be able to live without you.
Oh no, bastard, you're not gonna get away from me. Hold tight. A little creep. Nikita, why is Misha chasing us? It looks like Misha wants to play races with us. doing damn it so in connection with the latest sociological study we should try to understand that we have to pay more attention to simple human joys personal and family values this is what our past and potential viewer is interested in. Alina. Alina. Alina, I understand that you don't care about simple family joys. You know what? I need to go out now. you are calling is currently not available. Anya, be careful! <laughs> is he alive? Yes, he's severely wounded. We need to hold get on, him to the hold hospital. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Come here, we need to... We need to call an ambulance. It won't make it on time. Okay. I'll get the car, all right? <laughs> He's losing a lot of blood. How much longer? Just five minutes, Ani, okay? I think his vein is damaged. Vanya, don't be afraid. We're the heroes today, buddy. We'll take Misha to the doctors, and then they'll heal him up real good. You gotta be brave, okay? You're not scared. You're not scared, are you? Mm -mm. All right, then. Do you remember how we met? Of course. In the intensive care ward. If it weren't for you, Jenna wouldn't have survived. Yeah. Right, good job, Sergey. <laughs> <laughs> you seemed so vulnerable. My brother was dying. But you kept calming yourself, and I only had one thought. She needs support. She needs support. I guess I should have cried more, and in that way you would have come to my rescue. Right. You see, there was an accident, and uh, he, he lost a lot of blood. I guess his artery is damaged. We need to do something right now, okay? Guys, come on. You need to get him to surgery. We don't have such specialists here. Call the ambulance. What, what, what ambulance? He wouldn't make it, sir. Why take him here? But you're a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm a paramedic. There's a lack of specialists here. <laughs> I'll perform the operation. You will? That's right. I'm a doctor. I'm sorry, I haven't seen your diploma. I don't know anything about you. Goodbye. Wait, hold on. Anya, call Yaravoy. Yes? Sergei, I need your authorization. What? Put this paramedic on the phone right now! It's for you. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. Yes. Of course. Yes. We are already starting. Misha was in an accident. Anya's there.
Oh, God. Anya will manage. Nina, what if... Uh... Sergei, you need to think positively now. Do you have Alina's number? Yes, I think. Is he there? Sergei, 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 Sergei! You know that you can't operate on your family member. It's against the rules. <sighs> Calm down. She'll manage. Stop getting worked up ahead of time. Hey, Grandpa Sergei, are you feeling bad? <sighs> I'll go bring you some water. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. The bleeding has stopped. Forgive me. I'm a fool. A complete fool. Forgive me. You can talk to him when he wakes up. I decided everything on my way here. Of course, Vanya has to stay with you. But I want you to call me, no matter what, all right? Call me. The patient's condition has stabilized. Don't worry, he's in deep sleep. I'll go to him. How are you? Much better. Anya, forgive me. You... You're a very good doctor. And if you decide... Decide to come back here... I'll be very happy.
Yeah, Grandma. Nikita, are you all right? Yeah, I'm just fine. How are you feeling? Tell me. I'm fine. I guess that I'm getting better. Mm. You know what, Nikita? If something happens, don't leave Anya, please. All right? All right then, Grandma. I won't leave her. Well, all right. I think that we'll all be together very soon. You get well. Bye. How would you like it, Vanya? I want you to stay very much. That's right. You have to finish reading Bremen Town Musicians. Have they escaped the gangsters yet? <laughs> oh man, you put me on the spot. I don't remember how it ends. <laughs> I do. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> 